So today I thought I'd make a quick video. I just want to talk a little bit about credit repair because a lot of people getting into business or just buying a house or pretty much anything you do in your life, uh, your credit is a factor. Did you know that like credit can even uh, impact the job you apply for or your obviously your interest rate on your mortgage or your car? Your car insurance is based on your credit. Uh, there are just many ways that credit impacts your life. A mortgage is probably the biggest example where credit can actually cost you hundreds of thousands of extra dollars. Uh, on a car loan, it can cost you 10% of your loan, even if the interest rate's, you know, three points higher. So I want to talk with real quick tips on how to repair your credit. First tip I have for you is stop getting new credit. So the one thing that people tend to do is try to get new credit cards and they, for some reason, think that that will help their credit or they're testing their credit. If you want to test your credit, sign up for free at Credit Karma and get your Vantage score, which isn't really the credit score your banks look at, but at least you can see kind of where you're at. It's usually a little high. You can also see the number of inquiries, how much you owe what your credit utilization is, how many accounts you have open, what the age of your accounts are open. Those are all factors in determining your credit. But the number one thing is stop getting new credit. Every time you get a new credit card, number one, you get an inquiry, which hurts your credit. Number two, you get a new account, which hurts your credit. The second thing that I'd like to say is do not close any credit cards you have. A lot of people think that, well, I've had this credit card and I don't use it, so I'll close it. Or I don't pay it and it gets closed. Like, that's terrible. The longer you have a credit card, the better it is. I have a credit card. I used to have terrible credit. And I have a credit card that I got by some fluke that I pay like $8 a month to even have. So I don't know what that calculates out to be, about $96 a year, I guess kind of an expensive credit card. It's not really worth it. It's got like a $1,500 credit limit, but I've had the thing for like 10 years. If I close that, my average credit age goes way down. So never close an account. Don't open new accounts, never close an account. The obvious one is to pay your credit card debt down. Credit card debt's the worst kind of debt on your credit card score. So if you can get a debt consolidation loan, even though that's an inquiry in a new account, which I recommend against, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. Sometimes that can improve your score because your credit utilization is so freaking high. If you have a credit limit of $10,000 and you've spent $9,700 on that, your utilization is 97%. When a bank looks at that, they're like, forget this person. I am not going to lend to them. They've already used 97% of what's available for them. You want that number to be at six, 6%. At most, you want it to be 30%. So that means if you have a $10,000 credit card, you better never let that statement close with more than a $3,000 balance, which is kind of a trick that you need to know. So let's say I have a $10,000 credit card, and in the month, I spend $9,000 on it. If five days before that statement closes, I pay off the $6,000, then I don't have to pay the big utilization rates, right? I get down to 30%. 9,000 minus 6,000 puts me at 3,000. My credit limit's 10,000. I'm now at 30%. You want to stay below 30%. So if you pay your limits or you pay your credit cards before your statement closes, and you can see when your statement closes simply by looking at them, you can see when the statement date is. And when the statement date is, you want to pay it about five days before. The last tip I'll give you is always turn on automatic payments. Automatic payments should make the minimum monthly payment on your credit card all the time. Every card you have should have automatic payments implemented. Why is that? Because if you miss a payment, it's two years before your credit returns to where it was. Two years. Had I known that when I was like 18, I would have saved myself about 10 years of my life. Two years if you make a late payment. So turn on automatic payments. You're much better off in the long run by paying an overdraft fee in your checking account than you are by having a late payment on your credit. And if you have late payments, if you have a bunch of inquiries, things like that, you really need to get into credit repair service. I'd like to know what you'd like to know 
about credit because I really want to help people build their credit and I've got a lot of knowledge in credit. I've really seriously turned my credit around from like the low 500s to an 800 credit score in my lifetime over a pretty short period of time and I could help you do it too. But I'd really like to know what is it about credit that you need to know? Put it in the comments below. I'll be happy to add some more videos that will help you get your credit to where you want it to be and you want it to be above 720. It's good talking to you. We'll talk to you again soon. Let's go get it.